So a lot of you seem to be really confused about how high levels website thing works. Like if you have a domain, you bought it from somewhere else. If you uh, have a client who has a domain and you built the website for that client in a high level account and now struggling uh, with connecting the client's domain to the website. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full overview of how this entire thing works. And we are going to look into how to connect a domain with a website that you created in high level or maybe a subdomain uh how to connect that subdomain with a ghl funnel so make sure you subscribe if you think these videos are helping and let's begin so guys i'm in my namecheap account dashboard as you can see there's a lot of domains here i'm going to work with my own domain to give you a demo and uh, try to explain you how this entire thing works now here's something you need to understand for a domain always the domain points towards a hosting so if your client has a website he has a hosting where the website is kept or hosted and he obviously has a domain that's pointed towards that hosting through a name server or multiple name servers now in my case i bought the domain from namecheap and i bought the hosting from namecheap in some cases, uh, you will see people uh, buying domains from GoDaddy and then hosting from somewhere else, maybe Namecheap or Hawkhost or Dreamhost or any kind of hosting provider. When that happens, you will have to navigate to the DNS records of the hosting, right? So if you have a domain and the domain is pointed towards the names, uh, the hosting through its name servers, you need to navigate through the DNS records of that hosting because there you will find the DNS records for that domain, right? Because the domain is pointing towards that hosting. In my case, I have the hosting in Namecheap and the domain also in Namecheap. So I need to go to my hosting and I need to go to my cPanel. This is where I can do all the backend stuff for my website. So my website's built in WordPress. Maybe I, if I want it to uh, be pointed towards a high level website, here's how I do it. If uh, I'm in my cPanel and now I need to look for something called DNS editor or DNS zone editor or just zone editor. It might be different in different hosting providers. So in Namecheap, it's called zone editor. And as you can see, there's my domain and I need to manage. Now, here are all my DNS records. So there are mail, uh, mail server records like MX records. There's CNAME records, A records, SRV, NX. So there's a lot of lot of types of uh, DNS records which you, you don't want to mess with. If you want to create a subdomain, let's say try.ashhasib.com, if you want to create something like that, what you need to do is you need to click here and add record, which will be just try. As you can see, it's picked up already. And the record would be A and the IP address would be found in your high level sub accounts domain area so if you come to the uh, high level sub account you are working with let's say if uh, let's say you've built the website here and now you need to navigate to settings and then go to domains add new domain you need to copy this and go over to the zone editor and just save the record that's it now, if you come to your uh, domain area and type try.ashaseep.com, it will add it. So this is how you add the subdomain. Similarly, you can add the main domain. I'm not going to do that because that's going to take my entire fucking website down. So what I need to do is I need to do the same just for my main domain, right? So I need to come here in the air record of my main domain. As you can see, there's no wildcard like something.ashaseep.com it's just ashaseep.com what i need to do is i need to edit and i need to edit the record to the one that high level gave me so this is what i need to do and then it's the same similarly for your client if your client has the domain and you you have no idea right so initially you you would have no idea where your client got the domain from or anything like that what you can do is you can ask your client to create something like this, like write a document, like, hey, this is uh, this is what you need to do. We've built the website for you in our own CRM because 
I'm thinking the you would have probably you know white labeled your agency account so what you need to do is you need to ask your client so we've built the website in our CRM and now we need you or your hosting provider to create an a record or a DNS record for us so that we can make the website live so if he has a domain and you can use the main domain go ahead and do it or if you have a subdomain you can use this uh, strategy that I just showed you sometimes it, it gets really complicated so you could just ask the client for the access directly so you can like maybe use LastPass or something like that to get access to the DNS providers of your client and then you could do the job yourself this is how you do it so once you connect it as you can see it takes time to populate guys so it, it may take like an hour or two sometimes it gets done instantly so once you're done once you connect the domain you can connect this with the website that you build maybe it will ask you here if not you can do it from the you know the funnel area itself let's see uh, it's still adding so let's wait all right so added i'm not going to add it from here so i can show you where you can do it from um let's do a website the new website what i would do here is i would go to settings I can see the domain that I just created or the subdomain that I just created and it's already connected with my high-level account and now I can just select it and hit save this will this website will be live under this subdomain and that's how you can connect your domain or subdomain your clients domain or subdomain anything you could do literally anything you want with it right so I'm removing this hit save and that's it guys that it's it's really simple if you think about it so i hope you understood this entire process that's all you need to do and i hope it makes your lives easier i've always tried to explain it the easiest way i don't know if, how much of it i have done so if you think these are helping make sure you subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.